Okay, um, what you want to do, you this doesn't have the rubber cover on it, but when it does, uh, and yours will, get your blow dryer and heat up the rubber cover and then peel it up as you get it hot then put your blower down and peel it all the way off slowly and it comes off. Once you have that off you're going to take out ten screws one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and then you're going to lift up the cover and be careful because the cooling fan is attached to the back corner. Once you get it down, you want to hold on to your screws. You don't want to lose those. You want to put them back in when you ship it back in. If you want to take your hard drive out and just send your whole unit, which is recommended, you want to first be sure that you take off the heat sensor that's mounted to the hard drive. It's just stuck on there. It's generally got a piece of styrofoam on it. and it just You can just put it out of the way and stick it right there. Your hard drive will then come straight up. You want to take your SATA connections off. You can jiggle it just a little bit. And just take both your, your power and your data control off and then your drives out. Now you can put your cover back on. You can even keep your rubber cover if you want so it doesn't have to be taken off here and then you can put this back on put your 10 screws back in if you're going to just send your power supply and keep your unit here we can't really test it in your unit but we can assure you when you get the power supply back that it is ready to go if something happens to it once you get it we can't be responsible so it's better for you to send your unit to take out the power supply you're going to want to unplug this connector right here. It's got a little flip connector. You're going to pull that out. You're going to take it off the motherboard. And then your SATA controller is attached to it. Your power for the SATA. And then you're going to just lift out the power supply. Okay. Now, two things about this power supply. You're going to pull out the little power connector that you, you plug in with your cable cord and it slides right up. Now, your power supply is out. You have the right numbers. Shoot a picture of it so when you send it to us, uh, you know, you can verify the one you get back is the one you sent us. And if we're sending you one that's uh, rebuilt or refurbished, we weren't able to repair yours, then we'll let you know. So you'll know you're getting one back that fits. It's the right one. That's why it's always good for you to send the, the unit itself with or without the rubber. We prefer them without, but it doesn't matter. And if you want to take your hard drive out and keep your hard drive for safekeeping, then you don't have to be concerned with anything happening to it here. We, we don't do anything with the drives. We simply take the power supply out and rebuild it. Uh, if in fact that's the problem. So very rarely is it the motherboard in these units, but sometimes it is. And replacing these is sometimes too costly. But uh, 99% of the time it's the power supply. They put real, they use real cheap solder in these power supplies and heat sinks. So a lot of them are Flextronics, some of them are Delta Electronics, uh, but there's all different types. If you've got a first, second, third, or fourth generation Apple, um, it doesn't matter. Just send the unit in and we'll repair it. You do have to pay for it on eBay uh, before shipping it, but you will ship it to us and we'll ship it back free of charge.